Ages ago, the world of Tardiad was graced with the presence of a beautiful goddess. She taught them incredible powers and was loved by all of Elfkind. But one day, after a visit from another god, Seren left the world, and Tardiad would never be the same again. But what made Tardiad special? Why did Seren leave? And what happened after her departure? I'm Iris Galaxy Shark, and this is RuneScape Lore. Tardiad is the homeworld of the elves, a land covered in crystal where they can live peacefully with their surroundings under the light of a million stars. The elven community consisted of eight houses, each specialising in different skills and having different beliefs. One house, Cruis, is most important to the history of Tardiad. The clan's members were traditionalists, choosing to follow the old ways and rejecting most new ideas that would change elven society. One day, in what would be the greatest change to the lives of the elves, Seren visited the world. She had recently stopped tending to Ma, her dying mother, and had found Tardiad on her journey through the universe. While most elves were sceptical of her at first, they eventually embraced her as they saw that she was genuine and pure. Seren, similarly, was enamoured by the elven culture, enjoying the Harvest Festival particularly. After very little time on the world, Seren decided to take it as her new home, and the elves began to worship their goddess. An elven scholar known as Kaidwad quickly wrote the Serdi, a sort of holy text detailing Seren's actions on Tardiad. Seren taught her followers the Song of Creation, a method of transforming the crystals on their planet into different forms. This meant that they could craft various tools and other equipment with extreme ease, while most of the elves worshipped Seren, the Cruis clan were not as keen to accept the goddess. While they did not dislike her and recognised that she did not mean any harm, they did not like that she had changed Tardiad so much. At some point, Kaidwad unfortunately died, which deeply upset Seren, leading her to try to extend the lives of the elves on Tardiad. Several years after Seren reached Tardiad, another god would arrive on the planet. Having seen his homeworld be destroyed by Tusker and Skargroth, Guthix had begun searching for another world. Having found his perfect world to be Gilinor, he set about trying to populate it. This led him to Tardiad, where he befriended Seren and offered her elves a new home on Gilinor. Intrigued by this so-called perfect world, Seren quickly followed. Most of her elves followed Guthix as well, leading Tardiad through the world gate. Even some of the Cruis house members would leave, despite their values and emphasis on following tradition. This left only a small community of Cruis elves to tend to the world. This was an incredibly difficult task for them, especially given that the other houses had been far better at completing certain tasks. Many important traditions were abandoned, such as tending to the Great Flame. The Great Flame was a huge beacon used to protect the elven societies from the Hunleth, an ancient beast that terrorised the elves. Once the flame was abandoned, it gradually went out, allowing the Hunleth to attack. In a last ditch effort to protect their towns, an elf named Skilage took some word weavers to seal it in its lair. He sacrificed all but one of this troop to do so, and despite killing multiple of his own kind, was hailed a hero for ultimately saving the elves. Now that it was trapped, the leader of the elves, Helwyr, journeyed to the cave to slay the beast once and for all. After he did this, he absorbed the energy of the beast, allowing him to take its form at will. Helwyr would eventually travel to Gilinor to claim the heart and use its power to restore Tardiad to its former glory. As if being forced to maintain a stable civilization after being abandoned by the rest of their kind was not hard enough for the house crewed, the inhabitants of Tardiad began to feel an intense loneliness without their goddess. As time passed, and they were without Seren for longer, their emotions became stronger and no elf seemed capable of suppressing the depression. This was until an incredible discovery was made. As Seren used her magic on the world, her essence had been absorbed by the crystals in the environment. These crystals and their connection to Seren provided a way for the elves to be reunited, at least partially, with the being they missed so deeply. They began infusing the crystals into their bodies, bringing Seren as close to them as possible. This also meant that, using the Song of Creation, they could warp the crystals in their body, allowing them to become anything they desired, 
and limiting their tools and equipment only to the boundaries of their imagination. These crystals were not the perfect solution, however. As the loneliness and despair grew stronger, the elves desired the crystals and the energy of Seren far more. This led them into what could only be described as an addiction, as they combined their body with more and more, slowly transforming them into fully crystalline beings, barely resembling the elves they once were. As time went on, the elves began to go insane. It was at this point, following the transformation into what we now call crystal shapeshifters, that the last remnants of Kruis society disappeared from the world of Tardiad, and the sole focus of the elves turned to gathering more crystals. One shapeshifter is particularly interesting. Angoth was the son of Kaidwad, the scholar who wrote the Surdi. At a young age, before the fall of Tardian society, Angoth met another elf, called Moldwin. The two were best friends, helping each other stay sane when the people around them caved into their emotions. At some point, Angoth concluded that they had been created in the wrong body, and, using the crystals within his body, transformed himself into a female. After this, Moldwin proposed to Angoth, and the two became engaged. Unfortunately, they would not reach the point of marriage, as, despite the two working so hard to help each other, Moldwin's loneliness became too strong, and he caved into the crystals. Angoth realised that she could no longer help her fiancé, and changed her efforts to focus on helping her people, or what was left of them. Her plan was to gather the supply of crystals from around Tardiad, and slowly ration them to the shapeshifters, aiming to wean them off the crystals gradually. She still does this today, forever hoping to successfully cure her people, despite believing deep down that there is nothing she can do to help anymore. The future of Tardiad is uncertain. The Elves of Pristinus may one day provide aid to Tardiad, although Angoth says that the Gilanorian Elves would likely reject the shapeshifters, seeing them as abominations of their former selves. While the Elves of Priftinus may not help as Angoth would want, Armadil has expressed a desire to do just that. His homeworld, Abenar, is slowly being destroyed as the floating islands collide in huge storms. When he encountered Seren during Slisgay's Endgame, he expressed an interest in moving his Aviancies to Tardiad, where they will be safer. In return, the Aviancy, being talented craftsmen and healers, would help heal House Cruis and restore Tardiad. Seren was initially reluctant to hand the homeworld of her people to another god, but was open to discussions, seeing it as a possible solution to the problems faced by her elves. With several possibilities for what the future of Tardiad holds, little else is known about the homeworld of the elves, and as such, this video is coming to an end. Thank you all so much for watching this video all the way through, I really appreciate all of the support I've had from the community recently. If you want to see a specific lore topic covered on the channel, comment below with your ideas, and if you want to join the IRS Galaxy Shark community, you can join my Discord or follow me on Twitter, links to both of those are below. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, I've been RS Galaxy Shark, and I'll see you in the next video.